Elementos kind of become the unfortunate kid that gave everyone cooties. I mean, not literally, but yeah, the 18th March vulnerability is getting thousands of sites hacked by the minute. If you think you're safe because you aren't hacked yet, or you don't have the vulnerable version of Elementor, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. We've helped hundreds of WordPress agencies fix this hack, and no matter which web host security or security plugin you may have, there's still a very high chance that there's malware hiding undetected in your site. Plus, such vulnerabilities happen every few months. So please watch how to find hidden malware and stay prepared. By the way, Elementor's advice is to just restore from a backup and update, which is like putting a bandaid on a broken leg. Why? The vulnerability was found on 18th March. So you'd have to restore from before that. Depending on when you hear about this, that would mean losing a lot of orders from your site. Even if that's not a concern, Updating a page builder can often break your site, which is why most agencies generally avoid it. And what if you don't have a good enough backup? Plus, even if the backup and update do work for you, this kind of malware leaves backdoors that can get you easily rehacked. If you're wondering whether your web host security or security plugin can easily fix this, you need to understand that it's very difficult to pinpoint which website settings have been changed and to find such hidden malware. For the past two weeks, we fixed thousands of sites, and now we'll share our insights on how to fix this type of issue step by step. Special thanks to security experts Mr. Khandelwal and Mr. Mehta for helping me with this video. Also, full disclosure, some steps might get a little technical, but you'll be happy to know that I've linked blogs below to help you out. Now, how can you check if your site is currently under attack? There's two quick ways. First, check for these IPs in the firewall logs or access logs. If you have a doubt, you can find steps for this in the blog below, and we'll also keep updating new IPs that you can find here. If all seems fine after you do this, then please do the second test which is to check for these parts in your firewall logs or access logs. Remember, even if you don't find signs of active attacks, malware may still be hiding in your site or your site settings may have been changed. So please check for that in the next step. If you did find that you were under attack, don't panic. We need to find the extent of the damage. So again, go on to the next step. Now we have to put on our detective hats and look for clues. We saw five common issues in 95% of sites and your site may have one or multiple of these issues. So please check for them one by one. First, your site is redirecting users to a spam page. This can be checked manually by going through the pages and links that get the highest traffic. Pro tip, make sure you aren't seeing a cached page while checking for this. Second, your website settings might have been changed by modifying your WP options table. We need to use phpMyAdmin to check this and if you don't know how, check the blog linked below. What you need to do is to use a backup before the 18th to basically cross check if these 17 options have been changed since that. Because then that would mean that you're hacked. If you don't have a backup, just go to your admin panel, click settings and now there are multiple pages with different settings. Just cross check if any details are wrong or modified here. Third, we need to check if any fake custom roles or fake editors or contributors have been added to your site. You can follow this path to manually check this on your site and delete any unused roles. Fourth, fake plugins could have been installed on your site. So you can manually review all your plugins or the easier way is to check into your activity logs if a plugin was installed recently. Fifth, even if you aren't seeing any of the issues that I've mentioned yet, there's still a high chance that there's hidden malware on your site because they could have made some changes that I haven't mentioned here. So please scan your site with a good malware scanner. Not to be salesy, but a malware scanner is really good and you can use it unlimited times because it's free and it's got the latest algorithms to catch any malware from this vulnerability, so do check it out. If you followed my directions till now, one of two things would have happened. Either you found that your site is under attack or you found that you're safe because Malcare's free scanner found no hacks. In both cases, we need to now remove the vulnerability so new malware doesn't enter your site. First, we'll cover what to do if the scanner found no malware. Just update Elementor to this version or higher and then add a reliable firewall to your site so that you'll be protected and notified of future hacks. You can watch the rest of the video to be on the safe side in case you get hacked in the near future. Now, if you were in the group that did see signs of malware, you should first do two things to remove this vulnerability. One, if it's possible to restore your site from a backup before the 18th, please do that. We need to be clear here, this will only remove any changes made to your site, the malware may still have backdoors left and we'll need to clean the malware after this. Two, after you've restored your backup or even if you couldn't for some reason, you'll need to update Elementor and add a firewall to your site. You should try Ninja Firewall or Malchus Firewall. After that, move on to the next step, which is to remove malware from your site. Okay, so here you'll need to pay for a security plugins cleanup because manually fighting hidden malware can take hours and won't even be 50% as effective as the automated algorithm of a good security plugin. The only two plugins I trust with my money is WordFence and our plugin Nalcare. 
you can compare them yourself and use whichever one you want to repair the damage to your site you're in luck if you have an activity log and you can just find the changes that you need to reverse if you don't have one then there may be some high manual effort i'd suggest you begin with fixing the common issues i mentioned in step 2 and after that refer to the blog that i'll add below such attacks will keep happening do you want to handle them in a few minutes instead of a few hours then there are six features that should be part of your crisis management setup so install whichever plugins you feel are best to get you these six features first you need real time backups so you can lose minimum orders when restoring your site then you need a reliable vulnerability monitor firewall and malware scanner so no malware can stay hidden from you a good activity log so you can find any changes made to your site and quickly repair it and if you have more than 8 to 10 sites then a central dashboard so you can update monitor and manage security for all of them from one place if you are missing any of these features our plugin demo remote has all of them so you can try it out also we recently found that 99% of people are completely wrong about their website speed here's a mind blowing video about it